Are you wishing you could focus more in your business? Stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to tell you about my 2022 word of the year focus and what that ended up teaching me so far. If you're new here, my name is Anita. I'm a video marketing and social media strategist who helps you bring in more reach and more revenue in your business through content that converts. And I want to invite you to join my free Facebook group, Video Marketing for Entrepreneurs. It is a place for you to be able to find other people who are on a mission to grow their business. So go ahead and click the link below and join. All right. So for the year 2022, I set a word of the year. And this is not something that I have really been focused on doing previously, but I thought it might be interesting to try it out. And my word for 2022 was focus. I know that I was doing a lot of good things in 2021, but I really wanted to start pursuing great things in 2022. And I thought that if I could just focus more, then that would help me do that. And it is now at the time of filming the very end of October of 2022. And I will tell you that what I have learned is that focus for 2022 really meant subtraction. And when I say that, what I mean is in order to focus, I really had to say no to things to protect what it is that I'm saying yes to. And at times that has felt difficult and challenging. So if you're listening to me and you're thinking, oh, I try to get focused all the time and I just feel like there's all these things that pull me in different directions, know that you're not alone. But I want to offer just some thoughts for you that might be helpful as you're trying to figure out what to work on in your business and what to not. So when I'm thinking about working in my business, the first question I'm asking, is this directly something that's going to generate revenue in my business? I think this is a really important question because it's really easy as a business owner to absolutely work on so many things that do not contribute to your bottom line of business. I'll give you a really common example that I hear is people spending a whole lot of time on their website. Now, if you're a website designer and you're watching this, please do not just jump in the comments just yet. I'm not against websites. I think a website is a wonderful thing for you to have. But if you're spending hours working on your website and you're not making any money yet, I just want to invite you to know that for 18 months, I ran my business and I didn't have a website and I was making money consistently. So you can get started serving people and making money without having a website. Now, that to be said, I now have a website. I do believe that it has helped my business, but I see so many people put the website in front of figuring out how they're going to serve people and really figuring out what they're going to offer. And remember, I shared with you that you really only need three simple things to start a business. That's really a way to get clients an offer, and a way to make take payment. And so if you're doing those three things, you might not need a website to get started. In fact, I got started with a Facebook business page. Now keep in mind, I started my business in 2017. So what it is that you start with today might be slightly different, but I honestly and truly believe that if you have a good offer and a way to get clients, whether you're meeting people, networking, or you're posting videos on social media, or you're asking for referrals, I believe that you can actually run your entire business with a Stripe account and Google Docs. So know that when I say that, I um, honestly believe that is true. And especially as I've gotten further along in my business, I have spent less and less time working on things that are not generating income and more and more time working on the things that do lead to income generation. So that might mean that I don't spend a lot of extra time on things that that at the moment are not a priority. And this is something important for you. If you're going to focus, right, what it's going to look like is to subtract some of the things off of your list that are just not going to result in your business growth in the next 
60 days. That's going to be my best advice for you. Okay. Now, if you are further along in business and you're really looking to take it to a next level, focus might look like you subtracting, doing a lot of things so that you can really focus on offering the thing that you know gets the best results. And this is something I've been doing in my business where I've narrowed down my offers. I'll tell you, I used to have a program where all I taught was content repurposing. And I loved that program. And it was awesome because people really loved the skills that they learned in that program. But truly what I found is that I wanted to get them the best results. And the best content repurposing happens from having really quality video. And so that's actually how the Video Growth Playbook was born because that allowed me to really help people A to Z and know how to show up on video, make the most of their time. And it really helped them convert into more income in their business. So if that sounds like something you're interested, click the link below. I'd love to have you inside the video growth playbook. Truly, it is my favorite place to hang out. And I know that it's going to be a great place for you to really grow your business. If you are a business owner who is mission driven and really knows if you just had more eyes on your business, you could grow. This is a program for you. So as I'm learning more and more about subtraction in my business, This is carried into my life too, because as my business has grown, the needs of my business have changed. And it means that I'm having to really look at my calendar and really decide, does everything on my to-do list actually need to be on my to-do list? Because I think sometimes we sacrifice great things for good things. And there's a season for that. There's a lot of good that can come out of you doing some of the good things. But in my own life, I'm seeing where I want to go in the next two years and it's causing me to really think carefully about the things that are taking up my time because as you grow in business you're going to find that time is actually your most valuable resource that you have and now that I really truly believe that I'm really working on leveraging my time even better so I can be the best for my family and for my business and my clients. So I hope this was interesting to you. I'd love to hear in the comments, did you have a word of the year? And if so, did it end up being what you thought it was going to be or did you learn something different? Now, if you liked this video, I want you to watch the video I'm putting on this screen, which are the three types of video you need in your business. And I'm sharing this with you because as you're thinking about focusing, growing into 2023, I'm telling you, you need video and this is going to help you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.